Peggy 16. Welcome to gameplay action from Jagged Alliance, back in action. Today we want to show you how to succeed when you play the game. Let's start with a mine near the town of Cambria. By pressing the spacebar, you can enter the plan and go mode, Got it. which will not only change the game's look, but also pause it. Roger that. If you placed your orders and press the spacebar again, you will see your mercs carrying out the orders they were given. The simple order here is to sneak off to a place near the enemy, stand up, and execute him. The red sight cone you have seen before shows you in which direction the enemy soldier is looking enemy. and at what distance he will recognize you. In this case, he won't have a chance to react in time as long as your gun is not jammed. I hear a noise. Can't identify it. Fragile. Something here? So let's move up with our remaining mercs and place them for frontal attack. We will stay yes. with our tactic to have oh, a nice. short chain of command, although you could combine and time the actions, of course. Someone there? But right now, it is easier to are. directly engage the enemy because our mercs are already stronger oh, and the mine near fire. Cambria is pretty much mm -hmm. a location from the beginning. Hmm? Copy that. Ready. Roger that. Yes? Copy that. As you can see here, another enemy noticed the gunfight because of the noise. In this case, it shouldn't be a problem for our mercs, but in many situations where you face an enemy superiority, which is comparable in equipment and level to yours, it can result in a very complicated shootout, which you may not survive. Ready. Jawohl. All right. Let's move on to another level, San Mona. Welcome to San Mona's east side, where our mercs are already in position and ready to conquer it. I'm on it. First, we have to move our mercs closer to the nearest enemies and make right sure they have a good firing yeah. range. Moving. I hear you. Nails out. Understood. Now, hopefully Nails has the right range to throw a grenade at the two enemies in the upper screen. So we drag the grenade in Nails' inventory and put it in his right hand. Now, let's see if it is close enough. Fine. Enemy. Yes, it seems to work, but one enemy recognized the grenade and ran away immediately. Now, let's use the guard mode. It's the green sight cone you have seen. It's a new feature which tells your mercs to open fire at will as soon as an enemy comes in their range. It can be very helpful, as you can see. They are relentless in their pursuit. And it happened again. Some enemies hear the fight and try to join the battle. To gain some time so our mercs can regroup, we throw a flashbang to the approaching enemy. That is a spirit that will never rest. Nothing to report. But, unfortunately, the tactic doesn't work. Shifting around. Mm -hmm. Before we continue, we should take care of Dr. Q, who was wounded in the gunfight. I need guidance. Since the wound was healed right away, we can now move on. Ready. Copy that. What's next? Confirm. Over there. What next? Over there! Nails out. Here they are. What lies there? I'm on it. Uh. Putting in a serious oh, effort on enemy! I'm on it. Losing blood! Here they are. 
Now we have a quite difficult situation here. We need to help Danny as soon as possible or he will die. But the fight is still going on. And there are way too many enemies to attend to Danny now. Awaiting orders. Nails out. Mm-hmm. I got them. Enemies near. But that seems to be a good situation to use a grenade. With so many enemies so close together, the chances are almost perfect for a definite hit or two. I'm on it. Can't make the shot. All right. Let's see if we can heal Danny now. Time is running out for him. To give some backup, we order Nails to provide suppression fire. Taking fire! I need guidance. The timing worked. Nails shot the two enemies and Dr. Q could attend to Danny. What happens now? Find out yourself when Jagged Alliance Back in Action launches in February 2012.